Hi, everybody. Jay Privman, the national correspondent with Daily Racing Forum, back again with Mike Watchmaker, the national handicapper with Daily Racing Forum. As you all know by now, we put together the Derby Watch Top 20 every week. And Mike, last week's race that impacted our list the most was the Florida Derby. The top four finishers out of this race are on our list, including two newcomers, they being the top two finishers. Let's take a look at the race and get your thoughts on this performance. Well, Jay, it was a pretty weird race. Uh, the pace is very slow, and uh, maximum security got away with a walking lead, and he took it wire to wire, and it was uh, very much a conveyor belt type race because Boat Express, uh, Maiden, who was 71 to 1, chased the winner all the way around the racetrack. And um, as you've noted, uh, the closures in the race were compromised by the pace, those closures being Code of Honor and Bourbon War. Um, so it was a race that uh, I thought raised plenty of questions and didn't answer a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to have a big takeaway from this race because the pace was just so absurdly slow nearly 49 seconds for the opening half mile. The race was pretty much just handed to maximum security. He's got good speed, but he didn't really need to even have to use it. And he had plenty left to storm home and win the race. And like you said, everybody kind of stayed in place among the, the first couple horses. And I thought both Code of Honor and Bourbon War ran well, considering the race shape, to pick up the pieces. But the race was completely against them. And I'd certainly be willing to give them a better chance uh, when it turns out for the Kentucky Derby. Uh, but all four of those horses are on our Derby Watch Top 20 list this week. The other race that impacted our Derby Watch Top 20 was the UAE Derby. The winner of that race, Mike Buca Parfait, has moved on to our list because he won the race and he got 100 points. But based on what I've seen when he was over here in the U.S., he's a significant cut below the best of this division. What are your thoughts on him? I agree with that. I, I thought the UAE Derby he won was probably the weakest one we've seen uh, in the history of that race. And uh, I don't think it was a particularly strongly run race. And, uh, you know, he's on because of points, not because we like him. And with each passing week, it's all about points and who can get into the field and who can't. So uh, uh, he's there because he's like you said, Jay, he's got plenty of points. The runner up in that race, Gray Magician, he's not at this point all in for the Kentucky Derby. So even though he has 40 points, we left him off of our Derby Watch Top 20 this week. But obviously that would change if his connections decide they want to go forward with him and run in the Kentucky Derby. Well, that's our look at the big races from last week that impacted the Derby Watch Top 20. Stay tuned here at DRF.com for a preview of the three big races being run around the country this week on the road to the Kentucky Derby. For Mike Watchmaker, I'm Jay Privman. Thanks for watching.